but you know what I'm saying? Um, in any case, uh, yeah, this is something that I think would have happened regardless of anything else in the world. Trick Williams, uh, I think, showed again just how talented he is. I think Ooh, this is such, such an exciting and fun part of the show. And one of the things that, you know, we talk about NXT being a third brand and NXT touring and all this other stuff, and I, I can see the value in something like that. But I love these crowds, and I love the intimacy of the crowds because I think the way that this promo happened the way this segment went down is only possible because they were in that building with Go that on. crowd what do you mean uh, i i think if you're in a bigger crowd the flow of that conversation can't go the same way because you have to project a different way you have to talk a different way people are louder so you have to be a bit more clear this felt a lot more conversational and i think it felt more fun because of that if you're in a room with fifteen thousand people you can't have the quick back and forths. You can't have the little lines here and there. And so I think that this is something that just admit it, Jack. Just admit it. You you like puns. That's what it was. It was all the chocolate uh, puns you could have handled. Break down I like, a piece of that. I, I'm a fan cup. of Kit Kats myself. Oh, the <laughs> puns. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Dad <laughs> joke wrestling. I, I, I loved it. it. I thought it, I thought <laughs> it was fun. I am very curious to see what's in that envelope. Let me ask you, Flobo, what do you hey, think of the envelope? Because I think everyone is saying it's a contract for a title match, but I feel like if it was that simple, we would know already. 